Welcome to the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back. This uh, video is on relief orders and discussing what they are. Uh, this is in relation to geomorphology, uh, geography or physical geography and physiography. So this basically is about how we categorize the land, the landforms, the surface both on land and the surface of the ocean floor and different features. And there are different orders to the landforms and relief. And this video, we're going to look at the uh, definition of relief and, and what it means right here. We're going to look at why we use this term um, and why we classify and distinguish between terrestrial and oceanic landforms. So what's the point? So why do we uh, basically uh, call them different names? Why do we uh, separate them? And we're going to discuss the three orders. All right, because... We need to distinguish between different landforms, size and scale, because as you can see by the pictures, this uh, Yellowstone hot spring or geyser, you've got the beautiful mountain range off in the distance and this nice panoramic view. And you've got this overview from space of the uh, you know Central and North American continent and each had their own uh, characteristics. And we're going to basically describe how we order them uh, and categorize them. All right, so definition of relief. Now, relief is a weird word. You can also use the word terrain sometimes in terms of geology and geography. Now, terrain is in relation to the uh, horizontal and the vertical uh, part of the landscape. It's how to clarify, uh, classify these. Whereas relief is more on the vertical. So height, elevation, and obviously distance from a given point, from point to point. And the usual reference point is going to be sea level, even though we know that the sea level is not really level. So when you discuss in uh, relief and terrain of a certain landscape, you can also discuss the um, scientific discipline of hypsometry or hypsometry. Um, so this basically is the, the uh, measurement in elevation of the surface, both above sea level and obviously below sea level. So looking at terrestrial elevations and obviously the ocean floor and all the different um, landforms on the ocean floor, like the abyssal plain and the trenches and the canyons. Um, so this is a cool thing because it will show you like in a profile of elevation, you know, from the highest mountain of, of the Himalayas you know, down to the average hill and mountains, down to the beaches, continental shelf, and then down into the trenches uh, of the ocean. So you'd see like where the oceans were and how much lands above the ocean versus how much lands under the ocean. And I think the average, the average elevation of land above sea level was around 800 meters, give or take. But the average um, overall land is actually below sea level. So there's just so much ocean versus land. So why do we do this as geographers, as earth scientists, as uh, physical geographers? Um, why do we do this about the land surface? Well, the land, it's such a diverse, uh, when you talk about landforms and geomorphology and physiography, it's a diverse subject with various categories and, and endless types of landforms created by different kinds of uh, geomorphic agents, uh, the destructive type where it's going to break down the surface and create all these landforms based on climate and elevation and what kind of agent is working upon it and the location. Is it in the middle of the continent? Is it in a desert, a coastline? Is it in a glacial area, Arctic? So we need to classify and specify the scale, the landform scale, from big to small. 
so we can relate, basically relate and compare, and we can contrast, and also how they um, relate. Oh, sorry, how they work together. How they work together. So that a little bit. How they work together. So a little bit about the uh, uh, spheres, interactions, and influences uh, as a big system. So also, it's going to classify the land, land scale and, and the, the landscapes. Okay? So number four, as we discussed. So the scale we use is called relief orders. Now, there are three orders. First, second, and third. Order of relief. So basically, they're based on size. Now, the first order is the largest. It is the broadest, and it is the largest scale. So it, it, it's a large scale landforms. So really, what we're looking at is the entire ocean basin, for example, or a huge continent like North America, and right here in the map, on the, or the image on the right hand side, or looking at a uh, tectonic plate, which could involve multiple uh, continents, multiple countries, multiple oceans, uh, that kind of stuff, or water bodies. So that's the first order of uh, relief. It's the largest and very generic. It's very generic just to classify the difference between maybe a plate or land versus ocean. Okay, the second order of relief is the intermediate, the medium or intermediate. Now we're going to get more, let's say, more close up. I'm going to start to specify a certain area. For example, we might look at a certain mountain range, like the picture on the top right. Okay, maybe the Himalayas, maybe the Rockies, Appalachians, uh, the Andes, the Alps, you know, the Atlas mountain range, but, uh, or maybe uh, looking at a certain coastline or a certain physiographic division, like let's say the Atlantic coastal plain in America or let's say the Alpine region in Europe. Okay, so we're getting more uh, detailed now with a certain location, but still, still, you know, in relation to a single tree, still a very, um, very large area that we are going to deal with. But probably going to be very similar in terms of its landforms as it is under the same division uh, physiographically. And as you can tell, as we're going down from largest to smallest, this is the uh, smallest landform scale used. It's the third order of relief. Now we're looking at a, uh, let's say, an individual, let's say, a forested area. We're looking at a lake, we're looking at a river system, or a set of volcanoes, or islands in the Pacific, maybe maybe uh, Easter Island, or the Galapagos, or Hawaiian Islands. And from the third order relief, you can still go further, um, classify it down even further to a small extent. And let's say looking at the islands looking at then a particular atoll. Oh, there's only two owls there. A particular atoll or with the river system looking at the uh, the meander, meandering, or the channel type. So you can get even further, but that's under the third order of relief. So again, we're getting smaller and smaller and smaller, classifying landforms. Why? So we can be more 
uh, detailed with our analysis, detailed with understanding the chemical, biological, physical processes that go along to creating these landforms um, for many different reasons, you know, environmental reasons, urban planning, water um, uh, organization, uh, flood management, you name it, it's uh, a well-versed and well-used technique around the world. All right, guys, hope this helps with uh, your studying and uh, see you next video.